In case you missed it, Israel. Warning. Warning. We are about to discuss Israel and Palestine. Everyone is so mean about Israel. People get so angry. Well, relax, because there will be no nastiness here on ICYMI. Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu has been touring Europe's big three this week. He's been moaning, or rather talking, to the m and m ms about... Go on, see if you can guess. Yep, ahead of his trip to Berlin, Paris and London, Netanyahu said he wanted to talk about two things, Iran and Iran. Now that's the kind of quip that kills at the Knesset. Bibi's still worried about those chats in Tehran getting a nuclear bomb, so he wants Europe to follow Trump's lead and scrap the deal that stops Iran from uh, getting a nuclear bomb. Look, it's only natural that Israel's worried. It's a tiny country, and it's not exactly on any of its neighbors' Christmas card lists. I mean, if anyone did develop a nuclear bomb in the Middle East, it could be extremely destabilizing, and it could force other nations to seek a similar deterrent. Luckily, that hasn't happened at all, ever, not even once. Bibi's European bonanza involved a whole lot of pretending. Netanyahu brilliantly pretended that he could persuade the Europeans to actually scrap the deal. The Europeans pretended the deal hadn't collapsed as soon as the US pulled out anyway. Britain's Theresa May pretended anything she had to so long as she could still beg for trade deals after Brexit. The German leader pretended... Well, we all know what she pretended. And everyone pretended to care about the 120 or so Palestinian protesters killed by Israeli troops on the Gaza border in recent months. But just because a 21-year-old volunteer, unarmed nurse from Gaza was shot in the stomach by an Israeli sniper while she was giving first aid, doesn't mean you can say nasty things about Israel. 